Hey Pisces, it's your honest homegirl, Keisha Anik, and this is your intuitive timeless reading. So when you see this reading, this reading is for you. Take what resonates, what doesn't resonate, leave with another healing homie. Um, well, leave it for another healing homie, okay? I don't need you to get your mind more twisted than what it already is, okay? Um, if you're new to my channel, hey, how are you? If you are a returning healing homie, what's up, gang? I missed you guys. How I do my readings, I do your intuitive message first, and then we get into your actual honest talk and tarot session. And then at the very end, if you want to be nosy about what your person may want to say to you, stay tuned to the end because we'll get into that as well. So intuitively, Pisces, I'm going to say it again. You guys, your mind is all over the place. You're um, the song that I channeled for you was Keith Sweat Twisted, okay? And you may be singing that song, hearing that song, or someone that you're, you know, deeply involved with or emotionally tied to. Um, this could be someone from the past. Um, their energy is still pulling on you and tugging on you, and you may be not too sure if you should walk away from it or not because... It's like if I'm moving forward and I keep moving forward and I keep healing and I keep doing better, why is it that this energy keeps pulling me back? I need to do I need to stay? Do I need to leave? And for a lot of you, you need to leave. OK, a lot of you don't understand that there may have been candle magic done towards you and put on you. You know, people are in the sex magic. People in this kitchen, which is where if you were eating someone's food. Them just speaking over that food with the intent to make you fall in love with them because of their cooking or whatever. There are several ways of people doing witchcraft to put on you. And that's why your mind may be twisted. That's why, you know, um, however they're doing it, you know, some of them, they could literally just be praying that you you fall in love with them. Everybody has their own ways. There's people that do things with incense. OK, um, and you never know. So you need to heavily be prayed up. You need to have uh, continuously take your spiritual baths, cleanse yourself, pray, meditate, fast, okay? Do all those things um, to, and the song playing right now is I Hate You by SZA, if I pronounce her name right. And the thing is, you probably didn't like this person or... You know, you grew outgrew this person, but it's like their energy because it's a heavy ass soul tie that you have with this person for some of you. OK, some of you have a constant nightmares because of the situation. And it's like all you want is clarity. All you want is the truth. All you want is the strength to walk away. All you want is that positive energy around you. Anything that leaves you in a state of confusion, you would want to walk away from it. Because if they can't give you a straight up answer, if you can't get concrete, you know, I guess, I don't even know what I was about to say. I was, concrete evidence. I don't know. Some of y'all need concrete evidence of, of, on something. I have no idea what that's about, Pisces, but whatever. All right. But this is what some of y'all could be going through. Some of you could be manifesting to get clarity, to gain clarity because your mind is all over the place. Go out in nature. Go meditate. Go work out, breathe, start eating right, sleep more, okay? But that was your intuitive message. Now, we're going to pull some cards for self-awareness. Let me see if I can put this down so you guys can see these cards. Self-awareness, family and friends. Let me get a card for family and friends. Let's get one for finances. Get one for love and relationship. Let's put that here. All right. So for right now, when it comes to self being self-aware, a lot of you guys need, if you have a young child, a young boy under the age of, I would say seven, they are needing nurturing. Okay. They need your attention. They need, um, I'm hearing their mom. So if you're like a father that takes care of your son, he's needing his mom at this time or he's missing his mom at this time. Um, for some of you, this is you mothering the inner child within you. If you are a male, Pisces, you are mothering the, your inner child. The things that you needed from your mother when you were a child under the age of seven, you're giving that to yourself right now. You're loving yourself. Okay, you're protecting your inner child at this time. Um, for a lot of you guys, you could be dealing with someone 
that remind you of your mother when you were around those ages. I would honestly say under the age of um, 13, okay? Um, however your mother treated you or however you felt about your mom, this woman that you're dealing with as a Cancer Scorpio Pisces or just has this nurturing effect um, on you, uh, she reminds you of your mom or she reminds you of how you felt about your mother or whatever the case may be. There's some type of link there, uh, a lesson that you need to learn, okay? So you, in order for you to let that karmic go. Um, for some of you guys, this is, uh, you know, being aware that if you're dating a Cancer Scorpio or Pisces female, she may have a son, okay? Um, or if this is a male that you're dealing with, they have a son. They're very nurturing towards their child. They have emotional intelligence, or this is you building your emotional intelligence, okay? Um, and that's you. T and by you doing that, that's you tapping into your inner child and providing yourself what you needed from your mother um, at that time when you were growing up. Now, when it comes to family and friends, you have a lot of passion for them. Um, you like hanging out with them. You may be linking up with them. You may be going out with them or this is what you want to do. Okay. I feel like you may be the life of the party when it comes to your family and friends. Good gosh. Why you gotta have all these cards, Pisces? But some of you could be dealing with a Leo from your past. Or you may need to heal a situation with one of your friends or family members that's a Leo. Okay, some past situation may be occurring, but I feel like you're standing your ground, you're speaking your truth, um, you're not putting your foot down, okay? For some of you, a Leo could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius male and could be pregnant by them. They could even be looking for them because they're playing games. And then I don't know what song this is that's playing right now. Countless Times by Mars. That's what's playing right now. Somebody could be looking for somebody because they're pregnant by somebody. And whoever they're with, they're, this person could have someone already. You could have thought that already. Let's uh, let's clarify family and friends. But I do see that you got a lot of love for the people that you consider family and friends. For others of you, you're being blocked by another male that has money. <laughs> there could be someone that you could be wanting, okay? And it's like the only reason why you may want this person is because they have their shit together and they have their money, Pisces, if you're a female. But it's like you're being blocked because just because this person has their ducks in a row and this person has money doesn't mean they know how to manage it well. Doesn't mean that they will treat you right. Doesn't mean that they will respect you. Like, OK, I'm hearing egotistical. So this is it's like you got a lot of love for this person here, but you're being blocked from them. There's whatever reason you could even have a family with this person but you're being blocked from this person because that's not the person that you're supposed to be aligned with sorry to tell you that this could have been someone that was a friend then turned you know partner then turned into y'all having a family together but y'all not together anymore but let's look at finances with finances so far you guys are balancing out your money saving money making sure you have your needs versus your wants you're not, you know, doing emotional spending, but what you are doing is it's like you're paying yourself first, then you're saving money, then you're paying your bills, and then you have whatever's left over type of thing. So it's like you're really budgeting things, you're making sure your emotions does not get in the way of your finances. Because even for some of you, I'm seeing too, like if you get emotional, you don't even want to work, and you're like, you know what, I got to get out of that energy. OK, it's like I have my days where my off days are my days where I do absolutely nothing, cry, do whatever I want to do, be lazy. But I have to still go to work type of energy. Some of you could be dragging yourselves to work, even though you could be emotional at this time because, you know, you got bills to pay. OK, 
Let's clarify this. The finances, the Pisces. Some of you could be moving. Okay, when it comes to finances, you're no longer... You could be getting divorced or you got divorced and it's like your divorce is final and now that you're no, no, no longer married, you both went your separate ways, you both got your money and you're moving. You're moving away from a long-term commitment for some of you guys. You no longer want to be in partnership with anybody that you have your money tied to. You're moving. You no longer want to live with anybody. Yeah, you're getting your, your shit together because you want to leave and move. From somewhere. Let's look at this love relationship here. So for Pisces, some of you could be dating a Capricorn Taurus or a Virgo male, or you could be dating someone that has their own business or is very um, business oriented or they're about their money. They could be a CEO of a company, a manager of a company. Um, I'm seeing for some of you guys, I don't know why I just heard Walmart. So maybe they have manager or something, a store manager at Walmart. Um, for some of you, they may, y'all may work at Walmart. They may work at Walmart, however it resonates, or you met at Walmart. Um, but there is this energy of a, a, this person is about their paper. They're about their stability and their security. They take that very seriously at this time. Or this could just be you if you're not dating anyone. So let's clarify it. Yeah, there's some luck here when it comes to this person. This could be um, a younger female that you're dating, Pisces, okay? But I feel like this person that's a younger female than you, you may feel lucky that you found this person or this person may be lucky that they found you. Um, but I do see like somebody, whether it's you or them, have been through the ringer, okay? They've been through some pain, some lies, some betrayal. They feel defeated. Especially if this, if you're dating a younger female, someone younger than you, they may have vices that you don't know about or you are aware of them. This person could be your vice. This is the person that probably got you twisted all up in your mind wondering what is going on and why it's going on. Heavy on the Capricorn energy that you're dealing with. You may have known this person since you were a teenager. You could have broken this person's heart. And you don't even know that. Let's clarify love relationships for Pisces. Okay. So for some of you guys, you this could be the mother of your children. You may have a daughter with this person. Okay, there's a lot of transformation going on. You may be finding out that the person that you're with is pregnant or you want to have a daughter with this person. Somebody could be playing games, though, because like I said, somebody is not emotionally fulfilled or emotionally healed from something from their past fully before they can move forward. So maybe you may want to sit there and have something stable with somebody, but this person is working on transforming their inner child while you've already done the majority of the work of your childhood traumas. This person is like in the midst of healing their divine feminine aspect of themselves. Okay. It's like they already have their masculine aspect of themselves down pat okay they are the king of pentacles when it comes to their masculine energy they got their ducks in a row when it comes to their finances they career their money but when it comes to their emotions when it comes to their divine feminine side their creativity side their nurturing side they are still on a childhood level of healing that is going through a transformation at this time. So you may think that this person is playing games. It's just that this person hasn't healed their divine feminine energy within themselves from when they were a child, or this is you, Pisces. Um, let's see how love relationships, since we're on the topic of love, how love relationships have impacted you in the past. If this is something they could be working on or you could be working on, take it how it resonates. We have depression, okay? So sometimes this person could be depressed. They could sleep a lot. They may not be motivated. Uh, you could be overly cautious because this is at the bottom of the deck here too. Um, you both could have dealt with this type of energy, all right? 
when it came to relationships. You could be depressed right now over relationships. But let's see what this person may want to say to you, Pisces. What does Pisces person want to say? It says, I made a mistake. I can't stop thinking about you. You doubted me. Let's try this again. Psych. So I don't know. This person could be playing mind games with you. And we have at the bottom of the deck, spend some time away. So take it how it resonates. You may want to sit there and say this to this person too, Pisces. But it's like there's some under like childish energy, okay? Especially when it comes to emotions. So be mindful of that if you want to deal with somebody that they may have, you know, emotional baggage at this time, okay? Let's get some homegirl horoscope advice. One week from now is a prominent time. The new moon is a prominent time. The one year from now is a prominent time. You guys could be using, utilizing the full moon, the new moon to manifest things. And it may take from a week to a year from now for something to transpire for you. And what you believe is your truth. Okay. Let's get an oracle message and then we will be done, Poises. Make a wish. This is a magical moment. Make a wish and enjoy its manifestations. Then I tell you guys, probably going to be manifesting. Well, since I said it, you need to be manifesting this full moon and new moon, okay? I love you guys. And then it also says self-forgiveness at the bottom of the deck. Let go of old guilt and remember that you're God's perfect child, okay? Well, if that resonated with you guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you later.